Hello there, Mick Boxy of your eye heap. Now we're going to go through all my gear, and there's two strong points. I own one, and my guitar tech, Rich Bennett, owns the other. My strong point is the plane. His strong point is running you through all the equipment, because I ain't got any idea. <laughs> Over to you, Over Rich. To me, then, I guess. Quite simple, really. These are the Engel Artist Edition amps. Uh, they're basically the same as the Richie Blackmore model, except they've got a noise gate, which comes in useful with all the high gain we use. One of them and a spare, straight in. We use the gain channel off of that, and yeah, it's a They're really German made, they're a fantastic German company, Engel, and um, I'm very proud to be one of their endorsees. And as you say, they're even kind enough to put my name on the speakers um, in the same type as their, their logo, so it's really cool. The high end cuts through quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the bass is rolled off quite a bit, middle in the middle, a little bit of top and a little bit of presence. Um, just to cut through the mix because once Davey starts, yeah, on if, the, you on through, bass. if you go through, go from left to right. You've got all the bass, and all the bass frequencies are taken up. The bass, the keyboards, and the double bass drums here. So when I get here, I have to find a sound that cuts through all that for the solos to sing. And um, basically, that's it really. So when we're doing acoustic tracks, all we have really is a chorus, um, and we have this mosaic pedal, uh, which is really nice. Just gives it a nice, rich top end. Um, without going too mad and then the LR bags uh, DI and that's it really nice and simple everything we have is quite simple polytune tuner uh, decimator noise gate which we could not live without um, that just eats up all the feedback without squashing the sound too much uh, Cole Martin Atlantic chorus really nice chorus you get a variety of colours and textures out of that and the uh, Jim Dunlop Crybaby 535Q Again, lots of settings on that, lots of control. We can change it for the room, but we don't really have to do that much. Just find a sweet spot you like, dialed in, go with it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is a compressor from Origin Effects. We've just been trying that out at the moment. Um, it's not fully, fully in rig yet, but we're getting there. Um, and that's about it, really. It's just simple as that. Carparelli guitars, uh, mahogany, uh, Seymour Duncan JB. Seymour 59, or is it a Jazz? 59 in the neck, I do believe. Uh, the JB's, ultimate pickup for us, really. Uh, give us all the sound we want, all that nice gain, and it's nice and smooth. And We've tried other pickups that work very well on their own, but these work best with the band. You know, it's, 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 it's a very strange phenomenon that you can find something that sounds really great in your room, in your in a rehearsal room, even here on your own, but you put the band and it doesn't cut through. But these these do the job brilliantly. As do all those pedals that you've just seen. Yeah. yeah. So I'm riding a bike. As soon as you get these pickups back in, hit that E chord and we're home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the sound. A comfy shoe. Yeah. A comfy yeah. shoe. Well, most of the time I use this. Yeah, everything's on the bridge pickup. At everything's 10. at ten. At ten, I don't use any pot things. I, I I use the pots more as a, a noise gate itself. You know, off quick, on quick. Um, and the, these are very, very quick as you can see, which is, which is brilliant. But I don't really roll anything off, you know, I try and keep the same sound all the way through the show. And if I go to solos, and normally it goes to the uh, wah-wah, which then I use more, not always as a wah effect, but also as an expression pedal. So when I'm bending up, I'm bending down on the foot, so you get that top end come in and it sits on top of the band. So that's my technique. Just one more thing to mention, these are great. Is a Graftech, isn't Floyd it? Rose style bridge by Graftech and uh, we've got the string saver inserts in all the saddles here so you don't get any, any metal to metal contact everything's smooth as you like also got the uh, Graftech ratio uh, locking tuners which are great <coughs> uh, every, t every string no matter how much you turn it or should I say every string you turn the same amount to tune up the same amount because they're all geared differently it's just and a we nice have the little touch best straps in the world which are um right on guitar straps which are from Spain and they make all my straps exclusively they're strong they're comfortable they hold the weight of the guitar because they're a very heavy guitar and, and they don't um, look too bad either do they? they're just they're just unbelievable straps yeah, yeah yeah and the strings we use a road to sound pink it's just unfortunate that they're called pink <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I once we get over that it, they're fine they're great I they're prefer great to call them nines yeah, they're the yeah, roto yeah, nines yeah. <laughs> it's just standard tuning uh, for this set, we've got uh, one other song we use a drop D for, um, but again, standard drop D, it's not half a step down or anything like that. 
Uh, but then this particular show, we're only doing one hour, so we just normally use the one guitar for the whole hour and plough through and, and play all the rock stuff because we're you know, well aware that Judas Priest's audience is a metal audience, so we go out there and, and give it some, you know. But when we do our own show, we, we travel a bit more. We have a few acoustic things and uh, we have other guitars that we use. This is what we use for the, our drop D. Again, Carparelli, Mahogany. Carparelli S4 is on my choice of guitar, S4, which are all these, you see, yeah. all the same shape. The GraphTech bridge. Uh, again, graph tech ratio locking tuners. Uh, this one's my signature. And then this is Mick, the mix signature, which weighs a ton. It's a really dense bit of mahogany, this. Um, but again, graph tech out, JBs. And the here, I think. Uh, yeah, everything's got the graph tech stuff, everything's got the uh, Seymour's, <coughs> same pickup configurations. And uh, yeah, it's all just really quite simple. I like a really, really thick yeah, I, pick. I'll show, I'll show you. Which uh, is in more than one millimetre. More than one? It, it is in fact it? three millimetres. If it gives me one millimetre, it feels like a, a little thin, but yeah, it, they are, look, look, there's, there's no give. And I always get Rich to, to score them so I, I don't lose them. Because I do a lot of hand movements like this and stuff. And I'm moving this around my fingers all the time. You know, like drummers do all their stuff, but I do it with my little pick. <laughs> so I need to have that grip on it. The ones we give away, I pretty for give away because they're they're just pretty got the name on my signature, and we just throw them out to the audience. It's great, but they're, they're the ones I really, really 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 hit. But they're not man enough for Mick to play with. Uh, it's all wireless. Uh, we've got the Shaw. Uh, I forget Shaw DLX. Uh, running on a rack over here. Fairly straightforward. GLX D4. Um, it's nice, I can set gain on different packs for different guitars if I have to. Um, but yeah, it's just... And I never use more than two speakers. Never more than two, I don't use the four. Only the two. I like to feel the weight. And I don't, if, if they... Lots of guitars have them on wheels, I can't have that. I like to have it on the floor so you actually feel the the weight of it coming at you behind, you know. And then you get more sustain, and when you hit the sustain, hey, you play with it, it's good. <laughs> this is mixed that, guitar yeah. monitor. That is it. I, I don't like things in my ears anyway, and um, that, irrit uh, that would irritate me. Irritate me, it's not the way you should listen to music. <laughs> listen, on the road, it's just so important to have these endorsees that help us along the way, because um, without them, you know, we're kind of lost, you know. So um, we make our choices, and once we make that choice and we become an endorsee of a company, it's just very important that you know we continue using them all the time. And you build a great relationship with those companies. So, just to run you through, Rich is going to show you all they are. <laughs> Big thanks to Engel Wamps, obviously, Carparelli Guitars, Carl Martin Pedals, Jim Dunlop Pedals, Seymour Duncan Pickups, and I think... Rotor that, Sound Strings. Rotor Sound Strings, excuse me. Dunlop Picks, are they Dunlop? Are they yeah, Dunlop, right? they make the pedals as well. So, uh, yeah, big, big thanks to everyone. You make my life easier as well as Mix, so thanks. <laughs>